Ichabod? Destroy. Disney introduced us to many of the characters we've loved since childhood. Nemo and Mickey Mouse, Aladdin and Dumbo, the studio knows how to create delightful personalities. Also, Disney likes to surprise their viewers with different Easter eggs. But have you noticed that some characters sneaked into other movies? If not, don't worry, because in this episode, we're gonna show you all the Disney characters that make cameos in multiple motion pictures. Make sure you stay till the end and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> You have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Yeah, 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 whatever. Of course, the magic carpet is not the biggest character in Aladdin's movie, but this rug does more than fly around the city. He is a loyal friend and helped Aladdin in different situations. You might be surprised, but he also flies off into other famous Disney animated features. Have you ever noticed him? So, you better rewatch The Hunchback of Notre Dame, The Princess and the Frog, and even Moana. You will enjoy all of these animated movies and also check Challenge yourself in the attempts to find the magic carpet. Don't forget to let us know how it's going. It? This is what we came all the way down here to. Abu! No! Nemo is definitely a kid who doesn't like to stay at home for a long time. He is out at the drop off with his class or being held captive at his dentist's office. But not only that, he also manages to make appearances in other Disney movies. Yes, swam that far. The Finding Nemo movie was released in 2003, and since then, the lucky finned clownfish has appeared in different movies, like Brother Bear, also in Monsters Inc. as Boo's Toy. And if you were attentive, enough, you definitely caught him in Riley's imagination in Inside Out on the box of one of the board games. Let's let to do is for the queen and blow the birthday bugle horn. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hans of the Southern Isles didn't really make a lot of appearances away from Arendelle, but there are two cameos under his belt that you need to know about. When watching Big Hero 6, be very attentive not to miss out on him. His first appearance happens during the scene at the police station after Hero and Baymax escape the clutches of Yokai and his stolen microbots. There's actually a hint of him because there was only his poster behind the desk officer on the wall. The second time you can shortly spot him is when the heroes are training. But it is not literally Hans, it is rather the statue that looks exactly like him. Hey, I, I'm as surprised as you are. Beginner's luck. Do, do you want to go again? Yama? You probably need us to remind you who Jock is, right? If you watch Disney's Lady and the Tramp, then you might remember the scruffy Scotty dog. Interestingly, he made it to other Disney movies as he was caught in London, New York City, and even in the African savanna. What do we exactly mean? We saw him in 101 Dalmatians and in its sequel when he joined the Twilight Bark. He also was seen walking the streets of New York in Oliver and Company. But the most unexpected appearance was amongst the hyenas and the Lion King. Have you caught him in at least one of these movies? If yes, let us know in the comment section down below. Look here, laddie. Who are you, the bargain? The voice of experience, buster. <laughs> Who doesn't like Dumbo? He's cute and funny. This famous flying elephant first appeared in 1941, and since then, he lives in our hearts. It would be so sad if Disney forgot about him, so we're happy to tell you that he had a few different cameos in other movies. The only thing is that every time he appears in the movie, he was shown as a toy. For example, you can see him in The Great Mouse Detective, Lilo and Stitch, and he even makes an adorable appearance in his own 2019 remake. Did you ever see an elephant fly? <laughs> well, I seen a horse fly. <laughs> Dragonfly. <laughs> Just like any classic fairy tale, the Tangled story ends with Rapunzel and Flynn Rider living happily ever after. We are all so happy that she is free and can leave her tower behind. But how far did she go? Well, her girl was seen spending time in another kingdom with her man. Where exactly? She was spotted walking with Flynn on Elsa's coronation day, when Elsa is soaking in the presence of the company at the castle. Did Elsa invite them? Maybe. Who knows? The bells. The coronation. I, I, I better go. I have to go. I, I better go. We all know that Sebastian is the biggest advocate for fish living under the sea in The Little Mermaid. So it was a bit surprising that he was seen on land spending time with other Disney characters. This guy was caught in the Aladdin movie when Genie attempts to turn Aladdin into a prince and instead mentions the Alaskan king crab recipe, at which point Sebastian appears and clamps onto Genie's finger as under the sea plays. That was a funny moment. No. Chicken a la king. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, that's king crap. 
hate when I do that. We all remember Mrs. Potts and her son Chip from Beauty and the Beast movie. But have you noticed this pair in any of the other Disney films? These two appeared in the least expected place, in the middle of the jungle in the Tarzan movie. There is a scene where Turk leads the gorillas in a song in a dance number performing Trash in the Camp, and can be seen chiming on a tea set of the exact same design as the one in Beast Castle. Chip teacup and all. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up such wild stories. Really, Mama? I saw her. Speaking of cameos, Pumbaa indeed made so many more appearances than Timon. We saw him in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Aladdin, and The King of Thieves, and even Tangled. But it's always better to see these partners in crime hanging out together, right? So, where exactly can you catch them? Both of them have been featured together in Lilo and Stitch, the series, and even the remake of The Jungle Book. And if you didn't know this, you'd better rewatch those movies just to see the gang. Me too. I ate like a pig. Pumba. You are a pig. The Pumpkin King of Halloween Town is one of the most famous travelers when it comes to appearing in different Disney movies. But not only that, he went that far so that you can catch him in other studios. As for Disney movies, he has been in Tim Burton's Vincent, James and the Giant Peach, and Alice in Wonderland. And he even appears in Princess and the Frog as one of the friends on the other side. This guy is such an interesting resume, don't you think so? What's this? What's this? This guy everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. Jiminy Cricket is another character with a very impressive CV. Not only has he appeared in many different movies, but he also is a special guest there. The list of his appearances is impressive. For example, outside of Pinocchio, he has featured roles in Fun and Fancy Free, The Mickey Mouse Club, Mickey's Christmas Carol, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and the Walt Disney Anthology Collection, just to name a few. And we're not even mentioning his video Video game history. What a star. Well, I didn't either. Of course, I'm just a cricket singing away from hearth to hearth, but. Yes, we know that the Pizza Planet truck is not a character, but we had to add it in our list. The truck is one of the most recognizable figures in all of Pixar. Not many people notice it, but the Pizza Planet truck appears literally in every Pixar movie since the days of the original Toy Story, and we're not even joking. This non character even appeared as an Easter egg in Inside Out and The Good Dinosaur, so we definitely had to tell you about it. How are we gonna get him now? Pizza, anyone? <laughs> It is typical for Belle to be found walking around her poor provincial town in France with a book in her hand, right? We guess this is exactly what Disney thought when they decided to put her into another memorable movie set in France. Belle was doing the same thing walking with a book while Quasimodo was singing about his life. Yes, she appears in The Hunchback of Notre Dame wearing her blue dress. I'm sorry. I warned you never to come here. I didn't mean any harm. No, we didn't forget about Mickey Mouse. This this guy has the longest list of film credits to his name. He had appeared in so many movies, and if we name all of them, you would get tired of listening. No, we're not exaggerating. Mr. Mouse knows how to make an appearance, and it doesn't matter if he's there as an Easter egg that is a difficult thing to define, or it is a full scale special appearance like in a goofy movie or The Little Mermaid. We must admit that he is a true professional. No wonder Mickey Mouse was born in 1928 as a creation by Walt Disney and UBI works, so he is 94 today, meaning he managed to get some good experience. Are there any other characters that we forgot to mention? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you in the next episode, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye. We come. We have to stay down there.